I have always grown up in the 90s and Jordan was fucking so dominant that we hated him. I was originally a Supersonics fan, but I rooted for the Suns back in the day. KJ and Dan Marley, Charles Barkley even rooted for like the Jazz when they were doing their thing with Stockton and Malone. It was an anybody but the Bulls kind of thing I did when I was growing up. It's kind of the reason like everyone hates the Patriots nowadays or hates the Yankees, right? It was always underdog stuff. You just wanted someone else to win. So I hated Jordan, man. I hated him. He made me eat crow for all these other teams that I thought would finally win. Later down, after Jordan, was Kobe. Same thing. The Lakers, they were so dominant. Just had always seemed to do the right things and have the right answers and be so consistently dominant that I hated them. I rooted against the Lakers so much. The Supersonics were gone for me by then. Moved to Oklahoma City. I rooted for Oklahoma City. I ventured over to rooting hard for the Celtics a lot. Rooted for Cleveland when they had LeBron. Anybody to beat the Lakers, because I hated them. They won too much. Kobe is too dominant. Nah, somebody knew. It was the same story, right? Well, post their careers, I fell in love with the work ethic and the mindset of Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. Not to speak of them in their personal lives. I can give a shit about that. I'm talking about the way they approached the game, why they were so dominant. Now, as an adult, I look to that, why they were so dominant, and it's so encouraging. And I'm awestruck by a lot of it, and I aspire to a lot of it. So now I look to them and say, man, why was I hating on two guys that just murdered the game? They murdered it because they're so consistent at their craft, not by accident but by hard, focused work, and it started with their mentality towards their approach. So now that I know more about them with documentaries and Kobe Bryant's muse, and learning more about Jordan's work ethic and hearing stories about locker room stories and practice stories and off-season stories, it puts them on a pedestal for me. I wanna look back at my older self like, God, why did you hate on these guys when they were in it and they were like doing the thing? You should have been appreciate how fucking awesome they are. And so I do that now with myself. I, I say, okay, if I can learn that lesson with Kobe and Jordan, I should be able to apply that lesson now. As much as I love LeBron, I catch myself rooting against him all the time. After he moved to Miami. He's in Miami, I root against Miami. He went back up to Cleveland, I root against Cleveland. He's in LA, I was catching myself loot rooting. And it's like, man, why? Why am I doing that? For the same reasons for Kobe and for Jordan. For the same fucking reasons. And it's just hate, right? But if I apply the same lessons I learned as being a fan now of, of Kobe and Jordan, I should be able to apply that to LeBron and really appreciate the work ethic that this guy has and the time he puts into to perfecting the craft. So I'm doing that now. I'm, I'm correcting myself and saying, you know what? This hater shit goes, man. If someone's a master at their craft, why should I let that be the thing I'm rooting against? Shouldn't I be fucking pouring on like admiration for that? Why not be a fan of that? And stop this natural inclination to fucking hate on someone that's like perfecting their craft. That's such bullshit. And that shows a weakness and an insecurity inside of me. So part of it is like me recognizing that and like self-correcting and I really think that this is something we all need we need to call bullshit on ourselves sometimes so that's what I'm doing calling bullshit on myself like stop just appreciating the legends after they're gone right there's living ones that are presently around you if you're into football that's your Tom Brady or Drew Brees if you're into basketball that is LeBron if you're into fucking soccer that is your Ronaldo's and, and, and Messi's and we want to naturally hate on these guys because they're so successful. I'm like, ah, oh, I just want to see someone else get it. Yeah, but, like, have some appreciation. You don't have that level of consistency by accident. These guys are constantly in our face annoying us with their success because they've mastered the craft. And if you are a fan of the craft, why the fuck aren't you a fan of the people that have mastered it, right? So this is the end, the end of all the fucking hating shit. Call yourself out when you catch yourself doing that. If we're strictly talking about a love for the game and an appreciation of the craft, like why the fuck wouldn't you be a fan of that? I don't know, I've asked that of myself too, like, why not? Why not be a fan of greatness when it's around you? We do it when they're gone, like, oh, you know, the Muhammad Ali is the greatest of all time. Yeah, but around Muhammad Ali's time, there weren't many people seeing that in him. I mean, he had a huge following, but he had a huge fucking list of haters, right? And they're not 
as prevalent now, but when he was fucking a legend of their time, they were quite prevalent, quite loud, um, and quite effective, you know? And I think that uh, some fucking bullshit is what it is. So that's the end of that rant.